They say that they're not privatising it. They've been privatising it by stealth for the last decade. They say that they will keep the Secretary of State will still have a comprehensive duty to provide a comprehensive NHS. But that's being sold down the river. That time and time again, treatments are not becoming are becoming unavailable on the NHS. People will then have to the, the option if they can afford it to put top up their treatments, causing a two-tier NHS and allowing the insurance companies free reign. We are careering headlong to a system that they have in the United States where people die on the street. We know there was a report from the Royal Society of Medicine only two weeks ago which said the NHS is the second most cost-effective health system in the world. Why do they need to do anything to it? They don't need to change it. This government are inflicting the biggest social injustice on the people of Britain in the history of my lifetime. And Aaron Bevan would be spinning in his grave if he could see what was going on today. He said that there would only be an NHS while there are folk with the faith left to fight for it. We've got to be those folk. We have to fight for it. We have to keep it going. The next speaker is Esme, who is an organizer from the health organization Health Worker Network that organized rank and file health workers. Yeah, I'm, a... I'm an ambulance worker in London, so I see every day when I'm at work both how important the health service is to our patients, to people who need the health service in all sorts of different emergencies, but I also see how the health service is already a breaking point from hospital to hospital. You take your patients in, you wait in the corridors, nurses are desperately trying to get people moved to other wards and departments in the NHS. The NHS is struggling with the health workers that we already have. And what do the Tories do? The Tories have now decided they're going to privatise it. And I think it's a disgrace tonight that they have passed a bill that is going to see the most wholesale privatisation that we've ever seen of the health service in this country. It's an absolute disgrace and it's a disaster for the health service. And the Tories said they were going to do a listening exercise. They wanted to bring this bill straight through earlier in the year, but they couldn't do it. And they and then 
conversation about... Not a protest! Uh, so we're called for it. Sorry, coming. Well, that's all we've got to be. Yes. I have come to the MP, and I will post the amendment. All right. Okay. Okay. What's your name? Oh yeah. yeah. You're, you're the only one. I just thought I ought to come out and just put the record straight. I heard that Peter Hayne, a, a dear and beloved previous Liberal, um, came out and told you that all Liberal Democrats uh, voted in favour of the bill. Not true. Um, so I just wanted to reassure you, I, I'm pretty certain I don't know at the moment quite how many uh, there were, but I, I just wanted to make sure that at least you had the information. Um, I suppose being, un, being, being dishonest about it, I ought to also make the point that of course we wouldn't be in this position if the previous Blairite Labour government hadn't paved the way for these, uh, for these reforms in any case, having introduced foundation hospitals, introduced independent treatment centres, created uh, the, any, the, uh, the environment and market for any willing provider that all, all of the paths have been laid by the previous government to introduce the kind of the kind of marketised reforms which I'm sorry to say Make some uh, the, yourself. which I'm sorry to say the government have wrongly believed that they should be taking forward. So so this bill is absolutely absolutely wrong and I congratulate you all for your campaign um, your against against the bill because of course it's the wrong it's the wrong uh, policy which would which would be majorly destabilising. It will. It is the biggest, biggest reorganisation of the NHS in the history of the NHS. Uh, uh, at the very time when the previous Labour government said that we have to achieve 20 billion efficiency gain over the next four years, to do those two things at the same time is madness. And but above all. The reason why I voted against uh, the bill this evening, why I put down all of the amendments that I did and voted against the government on other occasions during the passage of the bill, was because I fear that what this policy will do is it runs the risk of seeing an NHS which is driven more by concern with private profit than in the interests of patient care. And that's the fundamental concern. It's a slippery slope and it's not one I'm, preferred, I, I, I'm prepared to support. So thank you for giving. I know you won't all, I know there's some Labour Party supporters won't like to be told what the Labour Party did when they were in government, but I have to say that in order to kind of give you a background, and especially if Peter Hayne has said that I voted for the bill when I've done precisely the opposite thing. So thank you very much for the platform and, uh, and thank you and carry on the campaign. It's very important. It's going to the Lord soon and we want to get some very, very major changes down there, if not to, to, uh, to demolish the bill and make them start again. Thank you. Thank you very much.